This is the safest way to download suspicious files from suspicious emails. This should go without saying, but never download files or click on links from emails if you don't recognize the sender. First thing I would do is download a software that allows you to run virtual machines. I personally use VMware Workstation Pro because it's completely free. Once VMware is set up, I like to make an environment most similar to the computer I'm using. So this is going to be a Windows 11 environment. When installing Windows, I'm very careful to make sure I do not sign in. You can do this a couple of ways, but the easy way is to make sure you use business instead of an individual account. When we finally get to our Windows desktop, the first thing I'm going to do is download Brave Browser and then sign into my email and download the files that I shouldn't have downloaded on my main PC. As soon as the files are done downloading, sign out of your email account to invalidate the browser token so that hackers can't use this and use your email account. Now that you're on this fresh virtual machine install, you can pretty much do whatever you want safely because it won't affect your main computer. You can open up these files, scan them with a virus scanner, and make sure they're safe. If the files are unsafe, close down and delete the virtual machine and then just report the email. No harm done.